So today's question is, how do you imagine a roadside or perhaps tunnel side in in the Underdark, whether goofy or grim? Uh, so I've been running out of the abyss for quite a while. I haven't finished it and my group uh, unfortunately split up. But anyways, I got really uh, involved in this whole Underdark theme. Uh, and I was thinking, how would you do this sort of uh, tiny little safe heaven in in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I was thinking about including some really crazy stuff inside, uh, like I, I like. Uh, so like man, a, a mind flayer bartender uh, or a myconid waitress or something like that. Uh, maybe it has something to do with, with the beholder. Uh, I really like the part of the beholder lore where uh, in the vicinity of its lair, uh, there there might be some kind of shattered pieces of its dreams or memories that you can kind of uh, tune into uh, on accident. Uh, and the fact that it can, the beholder can burst little gazers into existence, like little uh, again shattered pieces of his dream. So uh, maybe uh, maybe this inn. Uh, is built in the close vicinity of the Beholder's Lair and, and people see weird dreams uh, in it. Or maybe a little gazer uh, who is like a, a mind child of a Beholder uh, somehow gained conscious and kind of freedom and he himself, or it itself established uh, this, uh, this inn. I don't know, you know, uh, I'm just trying to set you on the vibe of like, of insanity. So yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, when I imagined an Underdark Inn, I went full Myconid oh, on this, nice. okay? So uh, imagine like this Inn, which is essentially a giant mushroom that's shaped into an Inn. Uh, it's near a Myconid colony, so this is like um, you can't go into Myconid Colony. You can only go into the inn. It's where they trade with outsiders. Um, and you have these undead spore servants that just walk around and do um, nail tasks, like, you know, cleaning and carrying stuff. Uh, the rooms are quite spacious and spongy. Um, you also have these weird mushroom caps that you can use as beds. Uh, otherwise, there's probably not much in the room. Um, a mushroom lamp. Yeah, mushroom lamp. Oh, that's cool. Bioluminescence. Oh, Adding it in. Um, you can, if you sit down and meditate, you can actually get room service by connecting to the psychic spore network. Wi Fi. Yeah, you do Wi Fi, you have Wi Fi. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Um, and then uh, you can also, like, as if you go down and you go to eat, uh, they offer. A variety of freshly hunted underdark denizens, pretty much anything uh, that walks in the underdark, including other Humans. humanoids yeah. uh, that just Adventures. happen to trespass into the village. Uh, that's what happens if you go into the village and not the inn. Um, the thing is, though, they they use poison to hunt, and they don't really clean it off that well. So I'd be careful about eating food there. Just saying. What's the meal of the day? A paladin? Like a, oh. yeah, a paladin, a, a dwarf <laughs> paladin. <laughs> nice. Well, I've got so much I could talk about. Uh, <laughs> first thing I wanted to see was uh, an ex adventurer drow that is trying to dress up this inn like it's in the middle of the day, except it, there's no natural light at all. So lots of candles, uh, and uh, you can have curtains. And when you open the curtains for the window, it's just a brick wall that's painted with a blue sky and green fields. And cool. this actually reminds me of, in a previous campaign, uh, between major plot points, uh, the group was visiting a small inn in the middle of nowhere. And just on the fly, I decided, OK, let's make it a rock themed thing. I, so there was a trio of bards uh, stop, drop and roll. And of course, the halfling guitarist bard broke his arm. What are we going to do? 
So it was an excuse for the whole group to use their powers and abilities outside of combat to try and put on a rock show. I was thinking <laughs> School of Rock more than anything else. Oh, and nice. it started out as just a bit of improvisation, but it turned into a really tender moment in the campaign where they didn't have to worry about the end of the world. They were just worrying about are the pyrotechnics going to go off and uh, is the ale going to be fresh? Like, comment, subscribe. Click the bells, notifications, everything.